What's going on, beautiful people? Thank you for tuning in and watching and listening to my rants. I appreciate your appreciation of my videos. We're gonna talk about Vitaly in this video. You guys all know Vitaly, right? If you don't know Vitaly, just go, just go do a simple research, but probably 99 out of 100 people that will watch this video know, know who Vitaly is. Vitaly is a YouTube celebrity. He's got, well, what, maybe 10 million subscribers now? I don't know. Uh, he's, I mean, he's he's gotten so big that he fucking chills with Snoop Dogg, okay? And he gained his popularity, his fame purely through YouTube, through doing pranks, right? He's a prankster. But the question is, why is Vitaly so famous? Why is he so appealing to people, to many people, younger generation? And uh, he's just appealing. He's an appealing, charismatic guy, right? Now, you might look at me and say, well, he does crazy shit. That's why anytime somebody does crazy shit, you know, like he's streaked into the World Cup and that's the least of his craziest things that he's done, right? He goes into the ghetto and, and does some crazy, crazy things. So he puts his life in danger. Of course, anytime somebody's doing something crazy, you're going to tell me, well, they're going to get popular. They're going to get famous. Okay, that's on a superficial level. But dig deeper into it. The guy, first of all, what does he call his followers? He calls his followers villains, right? Villains, a villain. So the guy stands for disregarding all social conventions, to put it in simple terms. He's a symbol, right? And he's done a good job at it. He's a symbol for disregarding all social conventions. He just completely disregarded them, broke every single rule in the book, you know, did everything that a, a well-behaved citizen would not do. That's why he calls, and rightfully so, calls himself and calls, calls his followers villains. Because he's a villain. That's what he is. He's a villain. He's the bad guy, man. He's the bad guy. He's the bad guy in society. I mean, really, he is. And the bad guy is simply someone who just decides, fuck you guys, fuck social normal conventions, fuck social normal behavior. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna follow it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna disregard it. And I'm not only gonna disregard it, but I'm gonna record it on camera and I'm gonna show the world that I disregard the social normal behaviors and conventions. And that automatically will get you viewership, will get you fame, will get you interest and, and catch attention, right? Now, I highly, like, I love Vitaly, right? I look at him and I'm like, he's just a fucking kid. And he's just a symbol of playfulness and breaking the rules. And that's in every single one of us, right? I love Vitaly. And um, I wish him even like 10 times more success. What... Vitaly, because we're all avatars, right? The Vitaly avatar. Remember, guys, this is a video game. We're all characters. And we learn by relating to other characters, right? Because we're all just one, the same thing. You, me, Vitaly, everybody in watching this, we're the same. We're the same essence, the same consciousness, just having subjective experience. And each avatar comes into the game, experiences the game in a certain way. And if the avatar kicks ass, it leaves a mark in the game that other characters can look at and be like, wow, I want to be more like that. Or I want to copy some of the things in here because I just, that character is so cool. And I want my character to be more like that because I can relate. I feel like this character is doing something that I'm not doing, but my character wants to do. So the Vitaly character, the Vitaly avatar is a symbol of playfulness. It's an archetype, right? Now we're talking archetypes here, but more on a modern level. Saeed's archetypes, right? You know how there's Carl Jung's archetypes? Let's do Saeed's archetypes. And one of the archetypes is the Vitaly archetype. It's just more relatable, right? The Vitaly archetype, archetype is the kid, the playful kid, the rule breaker, right? And um, the, in many ways, the bad boy, right? The bad boy is just someone who breaks the rules. He breaks the rules. He's a, he's a playful kid that's not listening to society, is not listening to what society is telling him and just fucking completely disregarding it and displaying it to the world. And that's in every single one of us because, look, this society thing we created is unnatural. 
it's so repressive to the human expression. It's so repressive to what being a human is. It's not, it's just, it goes against, look, we can live in harmony or disharmony at any given point. You're either in harmony or disharmony. You're not, you're either being more harmonized or you're being more disharmonized. We can live in harmony, right? We, and in order for us to live in harmony, we have to look at what is best for our bodies, what is best for our minds, and what is best for our souls, then you harmonize yourself with the force, you harmonize yourself with the Tao, right? And then you have a pretty kick-ass existence. The, the creation of modern society and the rules that we have and the conventions, and they're subjective to every culture, but they're there in every culture. Every single human being living in a, within the boundaries of a certain culture is restrained, greatly restrained in, in his or her human capacity to express. Any culture. Some cultures you have more freedom than other cultures, but every culture, just by that, by the existence of society, automatically just having to organize in these cities, having to live in these apartments, having to live in these small confined spaces, that automatically restrains your human expression right away. Right there and then it, it restrains your human expression. Whether you have a culture that's open, whether you have a culture that's closed, right there and then, just the very existence of society separation from nature, right there and then, human repression. Human, the, your human capacity to express is highly compromised already, let alone now religion coming in and, and cultural norms and social behavior. Completely unnatural. So, add the society, the separation of man from nature. Add that to the equation now, cultural uh, rules, right? Like in certain cultures, there's certain rules, right? Now add to that religious rules, right? I mean, you go any Middle Eastern country and, and you gotta abide by the Islamic rules and laws or you're fucked, or you're fucked, right? So add that to, to, the, to the mix of already separating man from nature. Now you got a big fucking mess. You got a, a disharmonized society with a bunch of disharmonized individuals living in resistance to the Tao, in resistance to the flow of life, in resistance to the force. When you're living in resistance to the force, you're going to suffer. And this is why you get bad health, you get pains, aches, you suffer physically, suffer mentally, your spirit suffers because it's not expressing, it's not allowed to be free, to roam freely and be creative and, and, and express the God that it wants to express because it is the essence of God. It's not allowed to do that. So, a guy like Vitaly comes along, an avatar, an archetype that is Vitaly, and he represents all these fucking guys. Again, he's an archetype. There's, I know, other pranksters who got fame for doing similar things, right? So, to me, he's just the archetype. Maybe he's the most popular one of them. That archetype comes along and says, well, fuck you, you know? This, fuck this, fuck society. I'm gonna go and fucking say the, the, the nastiest things to, to chicks just because it's forbidden. Right, just because it's forbidden, right? You know, you guys know that video for Vitaly when he goes and like does that Scarface thing with the tongue, like this. I'm not saying you should fucking do that. That's creepy as fuck. But what I'm saying, the reason why he did it, and the reason why he has all these crazy ideas, he just wants to fucking challenge all of societal norms and behavior and everything, everything that society stands for. And we automatically get attracted to it. I mean, I, mean, I, I fucking, I used to watch so many of Vitaly's videos. I love the guy, you know, whenever I think of Vitaly, I think that fucking, I just see him as a little kid causing trouble, and I relate to that, because I cause trouble in my own way, right? So that archetype represents that part of every single one of us, that part that doesn't want to be fucking uh, restrained and constrained by what the society that you live in and the culture that you live in and the religious upbringing that you live in, the operating system that you live within the confines of, tells you what to do. You don't want that. Nobody wants that. We want to be free, man. We want to be free as a society, as people, as individuals. We, you know, and this is like, I mean, look, it's really as simple as, look, I, this is my neighborhood, right? And a very nice neighborhood. I love it. And there's like houses all over the place, right? Houses. Now, everyone's confined to this fucking, like I'm confined to my room and I have to be Right now, there's nobody at home, but I have to always be careful. Like, am I making too much noise? Am I doing this? I got so many neighbor complaints before in my apartment. I have to be mindful of that now. But it's like, it's, I feel repressed. So, you know, that's why I like 
to go to the woods a lot. You know, when the weather is nice, I will obviously be making all my videos outside like I used to do back in the summer. But this, that automatic restraint right there, like, you know, automatic restraint. You're in a house, you're in a little thing. You're, you're confined to the space. You're, when your body evolved to roam freely in the wilderness, right? For millions of years, I mean, we're talking here, right? So now you're confining your body to this little space, right? And then everything else we do in society from driving cars to sitting behind a desk on a fucking chair, so, so disharmonized, man. We, it's such a sick pathological society that we've created, man. Honestly, like, I know I sound like an old broken fucking record here, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I am trying my best here to bring awareness, but also think of practical things to do, practical solutions and new ways of being. So that's why I think Vitaly is famous. That's why I think anybody who puts themselves out there like this is going and, and consistently does that will gain a lot of attention. It's just you're, you're literally just giving people a glimpse of what they could be. The freedom, the playfulness, the... Yeah, the freedom, right? Just your unrestrained, yeah, uninhibition to bring your full human expression to the surface. And I think that's... He does too much crazy shit, you know? Whatever, I, too much too crazy for me. And some of it is like, whoa... But amazing guy, beautiful archetype to strive from the way he is, the way he is being, right? To strive for that playfulness, that freedom, uh, that uninhibition, that self-expression. So that's it. Just wanted to talk about this. God bless you all. God bless Vitaly. God bless every single person. We're all archetypes. We're all avatars trying to learn from one another. And um, there's a lot of things I can learn from Vitaly. There's a lot of things I can learn from every single one of you guys. In the same way, there's a lot of things you guys can learn from me. Where That's how we relate to each other here. Avatars. That's how God relates to itself. We're all God. We're all the same. But we, we relate to ourselves subjectively through our avatar communication, right? And we're having an avatar communication right now, me and you. So that's it. God bless you all. I love every single one of you guys. But don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.